Hello again everybody, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome again to one of my video shorts on current topics at electrical-online.com and of course right here on YouTube. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about kitchen split receptacles. That's where you have a top half and a bottom half on two separate circuits using a three-wire cable and a double pole 15 amp breaker to feed it. This was the way the code allowed you to wire kitchens prior to some changes that brought about the GFI being required pretty much all around the kitchen and only two required per 20 amp circuit. The old code allowed you to have two split kitchen receptacles on one circuit, one double pole 15 amp circuit. I kind of like that old system but with the advent of GFCI receptacles it made this uh, wiring method kind of obsolete. So it's an okay method as well, 20 amp, way better protection with the ground fault protection in there. But the idea of the split receptacle is a good one. So you're not allowed to use it at the kitchen anymore, but in a shop or a garage, it's a great way to have two separate outlets on two separate circuits using one cable. Let me explain that, but first let's get started. We're gonna open up this panel and explain how you would wire such a circuit. So to understand how this circuit is wired, we're gonna start right at the panel. Here's our 15 amp two pole breaker. You see it's barred together so that if one side trips, It'll pull them both off. You can demonstrate that by just even pushing off one circuit. You see how they'll both go off. Then you've got your two poles of that 15 amp 240 volt circuit. I've got red on the bottom, black on the top lug. And you can see the neutral bar in behind here. Our neutrals are connected up top. The neutral, I should say, for this circuit is connected on this neutral bar. And the ground, of course, right down here on the panel tub, the green terminals right connected to the tub of the panel which is your ground wire of course so a three wire cable white red and black with the ground that's how you connect it in the panel i'll show you how those kitchen circuits are hooked up so again these are no longer allowed in new construction for a kitchen receptacle the way you'd wire a circuit in the kitchen however like i mentioned it's very useful say in your shop or garage where you'd have two circuits on one duplex receptacle or duplex outlet so to wire these I'm just going to show you quick here stripping the neutral first put it into my stripper bending a nice loop on it same with my hot red conductor one of the hots bend a nice loop using my little loop bender on my t-stripper and the black wire as well strip it Put it in the hole, give it a nice bend, and we're ready to connect the receptacle. Now, the, here's the mistake that most people make and the most critical thing to remember about split receptacles. Lots of people have emailed me or asked me questions on, my, on the comments section of the YouTube channel or emailed me directly saying, I've replaced my kitchen receptacles, I did everything right, but when I turn on the breaker, I get a dead short and the breaker trips. Well, let me tell you what you did. You forgot to split the tab. I'm gonna show you that as soon as we flip this receptacle over and do the hot side. So your ground is on, neutral goes to one of the silver terminals. Just gonna make my loop nice and tight. Now you might not want to use an electric drill for this because if you're, if you're not skilled with that drill you might over tighten and strip the terminals but I like to use them, use a drill for my terminating my devices. So I also turned in the non-used terminal on the white side, that's always a good practice. Now we flip it over, here's the problem that most people run into. Again, I'm going to put my red wire on the top a black wire on the bottom but if you remember looking in the panel we've got two sides of that panel we've got both hot wires 240 volt basically on these two conductors so if you don't split this tab here you can see the tab between the two terminals 
you turn on that breaker, you've got a dead short. So that's the biggest mistake most people make when trying to replace a worn or broken receptacle in their kitchen. They forget to look at how the old one had that tab split. Let me just show you how we do that. Using a needle nose plier is probably the best tool for it. You just grab onto it, bend it back and forth a few times, and it breaks off. So there's the tab. So now you've got a split between here. So what you have is 120 on the red wire, 120 volts on the black wire. You do have 240 between those, but because they're split now, you're allowed to have, that allows you to have one thing plugged into the top half and another thing plugged into the bottom half and they're using two separate 15 amp circuits. What happens on the neutral is your neutral will carry only the unbalanced load now. So if you're putting a, you've got a, an appliance on one phase that's, only, that's drawing say 12 amps and something on the other phase, the black wire is drawing 12, the red's drawing 10 amps, that neutral is only going to carry two amps back to the panel. That's the unbalanced load. So that's why these are a nice useful circuit. You can't overload them because the worst you can do is have the neutral and the hot current balanced using only one half of the duplex receptacle. And that's how that works. So again, the biggest takeaway from this, if you're replacing a kitchen receptacle, don't forget to split that tab. So now here we have a new installation that we can have something plugged into the top, something into the bottom on two separate circuits. We'll put all this together and turn that breaker back on. Okay, turning back on that two pole 15 amp breaker, we'll use my plug tester. And you see the circuits wired correctly. That one's working. That one's working. As per the, the guide on the plug tester, tells you with the out two lights lit, that means the circuit is okay. But I'll show you now what I mean by 240 volt at that receptacle. Check in each side, if you can see my fluke meter here. One side's got 120. The other side's got 120 volt. Now I'll leave my hot wire in on the top half, a hot lead. And plugging into the other side, you can see we've got 240 between the two, but 120 on each circuit with the unbalanced load on the neutral. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here at YouTube. Also check out my website at electrical-online.com. There's much more information there as well as our store where you can purchase the basics of household wiring. This is available in a DVD or as an instant download and it's simply the best electrical educational program there is on the market. We also have my course available now at udemy.com. That's udemy.com. It's called Learn the Basics of Household Wiring. It's a fully comprehensive course that'll help you understand your home's electrical system and make you a more safe and competent weekend wiring warrior. Thanks again. I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.